animated series, season one, episode four, um, the Lure Lies Signal. This is surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly, another animated series episode where I have to complain about Star Trek Discovery. Why? 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 Oh, what a surprise that in this episode, it has a plot that has been reused in Voyager Favorite Sun. It also has been uh, genders reversed in uh, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, Men of the People. That there are women who uh, make men extremely old by sucking all their energy. It's been used in Voyager that episode and uh, TNG that episode, sucking the energy. Anyway. I have to complain about Star Trek Discovery by saying that in this episode, obviously, Lurlai, we, if you've been to school, you know a story that uh, men are being pulled in by siren calls, blah, blah, blah. And it leaves Uhura in command and Christine Chapel uh, as her second in command, so to speak. And it's just makes me think of uh, people acting like Michael Burnham, the first black woman ever to appear in Star Trek, the first black person ever to appear in Star Trek, the first woman ever to ex appear in Star Trek, the whole propaganda they are making up. No, this is a Star Trek animated episode where Uhura finally is in command, because Uhura obviously is awesome. Uhura is awesome. She should have been obviously in command in a TOS episode already, but apparently the time wasn't right back then, but finally in the animated series the time was right that they make an episode, Uhura is in command, Nurse Chapel is her second in command, and they work out how to solve the situation. Situation is all the men on the ship are being called in by the Lorelei signal uh, by the women on that planet who want to draw in men to suck all their life energy because they have no alternative for drawing life energy. And so uh, the men obviously fall for it because it's a very potent uh, draw. It's very potent. They draw them all in. They can barely defend themselves, but Uhura in command, because Uhura is awesome, has the solution with Nurse Chapel, who is also awesome, also has the solution. And they figure it out. It really annoys me that uh, this was like 1971, and back then it was revolutionary that the women are in command, especially Uhura, who was a who was a black woman, who is still is a black woman. Obviously, Nichelle Nichols didn't change color; she still is a black woman. Um, and here they solve it in 1971. And no, that wasn't something Michael Burnham invented wasn't something Michael Burnham invented, it wasn't something Star Trek Discovery invented, that was in 1971, that was almost 50 years ago. And they did that. And that was great. That was another great episode with great content and a great message that a black woman like Uhura, like Nichelle Nichols, in 1971 was able to pull that off, which was telling people back in the day that it was possible. And that really offends me that nowadays we want to erase that and say that Michael Burnham is the first black woman on the planet ever. No, she isn't. It offends me that you would say that uh, diversity and uh, a black woman being smart was invented by college campus millennials in 2019. It wasn't. You freaking college campus millennials didn't invent anything. You didn't invent anything. 
you didn't make any contribution to society because this contribution to society to this being a society in which no matter the color no matter the gender we all belong together this contribution was made 50 years ago you didn't make it you didn't contribute you are nothing you college kid millennials are nothing you contributed nothing you didn't contribute anything all that shit you want to say that you are the first at doing you are not Captain Marvel didn't break into a glass ceiling she wasn't the first female superhero it's a lie Halle Berry did Catwoman first and she was black. Supergirl was in the 80s. Stop claiming you contributed something, you fucking millennials, fucking millennial college kids who contributed nothing. You just want to claim it, but you didn't contribute anything. You're not doing anything. You're just claiming to do something you didn't. In 1971, Uhura was in command of the Enterprise. You cannot claim it didn't happen. It wasn't Michael Burnham. It wasn't your millennial college kid invention. It wasn't that. It was in the 70s. It was Uhura. It was Nichelle Nichols. Not you wasn't Alex Kurtzman, wasn't Michael Burnham, wasn't any of you. It was just Nichelle Nichols and Aurora. And by just, I don't mean to belittle anything. It was great to show that Uhura, who we all as Star Trek fans adore and think she's the hottest, most intelligent, most amazing most competent she did that 50 years before you were trying to claim your contributions which are nothing uhura is better than all of you every single one of you none of you contributed anything she did she did all the work you're trying to claim the credit but she did all the work you're trying to claim the credit, but she did all the work. Stop trying to claim the credit for that. Uhura, Michelle Nichols, they did all the work. They told us that in the Star Trek Gene Roddenberry future, black woman in command, that's normal how it should be in the 70s. Back then they told us that is the normal in the future. That's their credit. Don't try to take their credit. That's what makes Star Trek so amazing that back in the 70s they told us a black woman would be in command. In 2019 claiming Michael Burnham is in command that's not amazing that's just weak pandering stop your weak pandering you're just pathetic you are just pathetic and michelle nichols and yota uhura are awesome you suck she rules that's how it is <laughs>